How would you spend your time now if I told you that we win in the future? If I tell you I went to the future and I and we won the long game, yeah, we might have some heavy battles coming up, but we are going to win the long game. Freedom, truth, justice, love, it all prevails, okay? Um, everybody who is a president, a head of state, a dictator, a leader of a large multinational company, all of these people who run institutions, countries, etc. They all have psychics. They all have astrologers. Some of them have tarot readers and they know exactly what is coming, what is upon us now. Pluto in Aquarius. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius, we had both the French and the American Revolution. This is the time for the people to rise up. This is the time for people to take back the power. We can all feel all of this stuff crumbling around us. Now, if you know that we're gonna win, which we are, what you're actually seeing around you, because I see so many people running scared right now, people are absolutely terrified, and there's there's not, not a reason to be scared, but there's not a reason to be um, completely just stuck, right? You should not be spending so much time in the news cycle that you make yourself fearful and, de and depressed, okay? Because the news and all of this fear mongering is very intentional. If you are depressed, if you are scared, if you are miserable, if you're considering every worst case scenario, then you might as well be a foot soldier for the other side, okay? Because they can control you if you're scared. Your greatest creative power, your capacity to create the life and the future that we all want lies in your capacity to keep your vibration raised. It is actually a responsibility. People feel guilty about being happy while terrible things are happening. And I say, please don't do that. You just need to understand the scope of influence that you actually have. What can you do? Are you are you contributing in a positive way? Are you a writer? Are you writing about important things? Can you donate money to the causes that you mad, that, that matter to you? Are you able to volunteer? What are you doing? Like what can you actually wrap your hands around? Awesome. Do some of that. And when you're not doing that, keep your vibration high. Find yourself in joy. Uh, nurture nurture love. Nurture the relationships of the people with people who you love, who rely on you, and who you rely on. Make sure that you're developing your skills, your talents, your gifts. You were put here to do something important that matters, no matter how small it might seem. You need to do those things. If it's in your heart, get out there and make it happen. Because those of us who are able to live in a joyful and loving vibration, we have to hold that energetic up. Because at the end of the day, if you know, you know, this is all a shared illusion that we're all co-creating. And we have all of this negativity and hatred and murder and horrible things because so many of us are actually keeping our heads in those places where we're actively hating, we're actively staying miserable, we're actively, you know, pushing on, on, on things that we don't want. You have to think about what you're thinking about. If, if what is occupying your mind is making you upset, that's what you're drawing into your life. So make sure that you're thinking about things that are positive energetics. And it's not a, it's not a, a spiritual bypassing kind of thing. No, it is a an energetic lighthouse. There are people in Gaza right now who don't have the capacity, the energy, or the safety to be able to live in joy and freedom. So those of us who can live in joy and freedom have to hold that energetic up. Our planet, this beautiful living being, needs us to hold a higher vibration and to be accountable for the choices that we make around how we interact with the planet, how we interact with each other. All of that really matters. It might seem like maybe it doesn't, like it's just a fun, a fun woo-woo choice, but I promise you it's not. Those who are campaigning for misery and hatred and painting a bleak future are controlling you with fear. Don't let them do that. Get your vibration high and be that light beacon, be that beacon of love and joy, because we have already won. What's happening now is they're just, they're trying to shore up power because they know that the inevitable is underway. People are trying to shore up power, shore up money, and stack things in their favor the best they can. Meanwhile, it's all going to fall apart and the people are gonna get free. So join me in that aspirational future. Keep your vibe high and we'll see you on the other side.